here again with another experiment, experiment number five. This is Hamid Rezaduski alongside for performing the liquid mini test today. So what equipments are we going to use today? Well, that's a good question. We have our balance here with a precision of 0.01 grams. We have our moisture cans here, as you could see. We have our personal evaporating dish. We have the soil sample, of course. We have our spatula. We have the squid bottle filled with this water. And we have our cast uh, liquid limit device. And also, we have the improving tool to start the, equipment, the experiment, of course. Firstly, we have to determine the mass of the empty moisture cast. It is 59 grams. So we take note. Our first mass is about 59 grams. So, the first step is to put about 250 grams of air dry, air dry soil sample into the porcelain evaporating dish. And then add water to obtain the paste. Something you shouldn't forget is to try to mix it in order to obtain a uniform paste. So the next step is to place the paste into our brass cup. As you can see. And try to level it up. So then we use the grooving tool and groove along the center line of the brass cup, as you can see. The next step is to turn the crank about 2 revolutions per second, about 25 or 35 times. So, as you could see, after repeating this experiment for about one or two more times, with the same steps, the two sides of the sample will try to reach a mutual line and try to cover the empty space. And from there, we measure the liquid limit. So, after that, we take a sample of the moist sample and place it in the moisture can, as you could see. And after that, we place it in the oven to let it dry. So, as mentioned before, we place it the dry, moist into the oven and let it dry. So after taking it out from the oven, it has already obtained a constant mass as you could see and we measured the weight of it with the moisture count, which is 104.1. 104.1. So after taking note of the weights, we use the following formulas, as you could see, and measure the flow index, and the next step would be to find the liquid limit using the formulas, as shown. Thank you very much for watching. We'll be back with another experiment.